All right. Oh my God! <laughs> Do that again! Do that again! That's good packaging right there. It is. Super tight. That thing is safe. This is what we want to get to Ooh, here. Ooh, look at that. Look at, look at the jewels. Dude, these things look sick. And one of the coolest things about Alpha X headlights is that they- Dude, they double bagged it. There you go. Right. Above and beyond. They ain't getting nobody pregnant. No. -uh. <laughs> Yeah, you know, most of the time this, this like is how here. Oh. this is how most headlights come, just like that. But they don't double bag it. Let's show everybody the headlights or the overall. There you go, and then the back. There you go. Looks great. I mean, like all the wiring looks professional. You can tell it's like high quality headlights, not just some eBay ones. Yeah, for sure. I'm uh, excited to see what the, the, the difference is between these and the Morimoto's are, for sure. All right. So these things look sick. We'll go ahead and take out the Morimoto's and then just do like side by side comparison. By the way, Cam fell asleep on the couch. Yeah. And uh, if you look at his face, <laughs> you, can see, you can see a little. I'm sorry, man. I didn't sleep. I was excited for these things. Taking out the trash. There you go. Let's go put it next to the Alpha X. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be comparing the differences between Alpha X headlights and the Morimoto headlights. Dang, son. These are so sick, son. Dang, son. Look at this, son. Hashtag Green Squad. These are so smoked out that when we try to take a picture or, you know, I don't even know if the camera's getting it right now, but... You see nothing but reflection all yeah. along. But come closer, show everybody. I mean, it's so blacked out and on a black ramp, this is gonna look so good. It's got four little jewels and there's two strips here and the strip there. They are the daytime running lights and they are smoked out versions. It's on their page, it should be released. Everybody can buy this one. Perfect. These are the Morimoto XB headlights. Okay. So, same thing, two strips. The only difference is these are on all the time, and these are on all the time. And then this is your sequential running light, and this whole entire part here is your sequential running light. All right, son, let's go ahead and plug this one in then see how it looks okay. all right so this headlight it will come with this harness which plugs in like that yep and then that part will go into your factory so what's funny morimoto's have to take it off alpha rex has to put it on so they still both come for each truck which is still dope all right it's plugged in all right son let's check it out let's see if it works first look Oh my god, dude, that is so nasty. No, 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 hold this camera. Okay. Hold this camera, stand right here. Dude, that is so nasty. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. 
Oh my god! Do that again! Do that again! That is sick! Right? Hold on. Alright, so so the Alpha Rex has this super dope sequential already patterned just for the DRLs. So the Morimoto's, when you turn it on, it's just plain white. Dude, isn't that disgusting? That is sick. I didn't know because like yours has that on that C part. Right. I didn't know that that was gonna have that. I figured it was just gonna be just Dude, like. Just look at the output just already. Like, look at his hand. It just blanks it out. And let's go look at Morimoto. I mean, it's pretty bright, but still pretty bright. But you gotta look think. At this. Look at this. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. But it's almost like his hand disappears right. when he puts it in the light. Dude, this is disgusting. It's nasty. That is insane. Let's just take a moment to, to do that one more time. So we'll do it twice. One for the one for the Morimoto's and one for the Alpha Rex. Wow. Alright. So comparison. The Morimoto's are kind of plain. They're dope, but they're kind of plain. That there just... Dude, that is disgusting. It, it just made the truck 10 times better. Dude, that is just disgusting. Just by some sequential pattern Wait, in the DRL. Signals. Look at that. So the DRLs turn off. Oh my God, dude, that is disgusting. And the DRLs stay on. But I just have to say, like... From a standpoint of safety, I can see that turn signal so much better than I can see that one. Now, don't get me wrong, that one looks super clean and it's bright, but I just feel like that one can be seen no, so much wire better. wire up the daytime running lights, that might stay on. Might, I don't know. We'll run that DRL wire and we'll be right back. All right. So point of this little heat shrink thing is it's supposed to solder the wires together. Exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's a heat shrink with a little solder in the middle. But sometimes they're temperamental, so you have to just keep the heat on it exactly. gently. Because if not, you'll melt this. Yep. But uh, it finally started to solder together, yep. so we're good. We're just going to tape it up now. So this wire is for if you want your little strip to be on as like daytime running lights. So what you'll do is like you'll tap into uh, your fuse box which probably you said yours is a t on the rams um like we said in the morimoto video um it's t66 for the morimotos but i'm just going to tap into the same one because it worked and i mean i don't see why it wouldn't work with these right. but uh same thing which one t66 which is so it should be this one here what's t66 though what is that oh i have what? no idea Something blue, Bluetooth something. Oh, huh. but it runs power and it works. That's so right. we're gonna plug that back up, run our wire through our little cut connection that we made last time, and close our fuse box. Back See, up. the thing is, I do have this exact same box for my Denali, which I don't have it wired up just because I don't really care for my LEDs to be on during the day. I only really care when they turn on at night. So that's why I don't have mine on. Also. I feel like Cam's LEDs, the daytime strips are a lot brighter than mine because I've actually turned them on during the daylight to take a picture and you couldn't re you couldn't even really tell that they're on because uh, the strip itself is white. Yeah, you just need to give it a chance. Maybe just wire it up just because. Yeah, I guess I could do that. All right, so the headlights have been installed. We are, that yeah, turn this down. Headlights have been installed. We are at this location right here. It's actually by my neighborhood pool. We're about 25 feet away from this wall and uh, we, we're just gonna aim everything properly because the driver's side seems to be a lot higher than the passenger side. So adjust everything, make sure they are leveled as well as they're not too high because you know they can be blinding people and as well as making sure it's not too low because you won't be able to see anything really. So that's very important when you do when you put your headlights. But after that, I will show you guys just how crazy the output is on these headlights 
it's insane it's unreal it's you can't even compare these to Morimoto's because they're just that much brighter all right we're getting super official we have a tape measure right here and that is 25 feet there you go exactly 25 feet and we're gonna adjust the headlights I've noticed that these rams are really weird to level them out because you have to take the headlight assembly out and there's the adjustment bolt behind it whereas the Chevy's the adjustment bolt said at the top there's two of them or well my older one there's two of them and I think the newer one only has one but that to me just doesn't make any sense it's the thing is it's there so there's a hole right up here where you can reach a screwdriver down i think yes yeah, right here oh wait but the thing is to get to the adjustment yeah. on some aftermarket headlights it's yeah. really hard and so i have just found it is a thousand times easier as you can tell the cutoff line is amazing and oh uh, my god it looks so much better in the camera it is dude look at this wow Look. you're in the way but like even dude, dude look like right that. above that sign like the morimoto's have nothing on this nope night and day not just that but with the rebel front end the whole truck looks just a thousand times more aggressive especially with the smoked out could not be happier so if you're in the ballpark for lights you know definitely look at alpha rex these are the nova series this is the midnight edition Real quick, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. And we're definitely not talking bad about Morimoto's. They make really good product. It's just that going from the Morimoto's to this, the light output is just so much better. Um, I'm not sure what Morimoto uses in their headlight assembly, um, but this one uses, out of this chip, it gives us 2100 lumens on the low beam and 2600 lumens on the high beam. They have their patented ice cube projectors um, with like a 6500 kelvin color they've got their i don't know if it's patented or what but it's i guess osram led osram led <laughs> osram which like com in this is just a sick combo not just it that is. but like when you crank up the truck and the sequential Dude, the se pattern oh with everything that there is just the icing on the cake it just i makes love that about so my truck better. and dude the way yours does the pattern it is so beautiful you guys are about to see a really good comparison between morimoto's and the alpha x dude look at look at that cutoff line right then back up well the thing is i'm about to shoot it to the moon uh Driver. backed up yeah there you go. So probably about right. Yeah, I guess that's about right. Yeah, and the dude, the cutoff line is is pretty good. Dude, just that white blob of LED is insane. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but this is so much brighter. Not just that, but it doesn't have this like weird swoop to it. Right. It's like it's just.
So in conclusion, what do you think, Cam? I mean, it's your truck. You drove it last night. Insanely different. The output is by far better, farther, brighter. I mean, just way worth your money. I buy those over the Morimoto's any day just by just the sheer fact of the way they look, the way they function, and the cool sequential LEDs. That's that's just dope. That had me sold with my headlights. <laughs> that was the coolest part. When we turned oh, yeah. it on, we were yeah. both like, oh my God, it's so we sick. We didn't expect that. You no. Know? We didn't expect well, it. I expected it. But just seeing it in person is completely different. Yeah. Yeah, so overall, I think, in my opinion, just looking at all these pictures and videos and the drone shots, Morimoto is dimmer, but I think the light travels a little bit further, just a little yeah. bit further. A little bit farther. But it's dimmer. It's dimmer overall. It's dimmer light that travels a little bit further. Alpha X is like a blob of... It's almost like driving with a light bar on. Yeah. But having like everybody else's safety in mind with the wonderful cutoff. Yep. So overall, it's much brighter with Alpha X. The cutoff line is a lot more defined on the Alpha X compared to Mori Motos. For sure. Don't forget to follow Alpha Rex on Instagram. Um, right now, they do have a giveaway going. Once they reach 25,000 subscribers, they are going to give away two headlights, one Nova series and one Pro series. So go make sure to like their page, follow their instructions because you have to like uh, maximum 5.7's page as well. That way you can be entered for the for the giveaway. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's get let's get this video to 2,000 likes. And make sure to leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of the comparison between Morimoto and the Alpha Rex. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us an idea of what product we can test next. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.